this video we will compare the Intel's Core i7-4770K with i7-4790. The first thing you need to know is the suffix C, suffix K, it denotes that this processor is overclockable. The i7-4790 is not overclockable. So depending upon your requirement you may want to prefer the overclockable one or not overclockable one the basic advantage of going with not or non overclockable version is that it is cheaper and if that lower cost comes without any substantial reduction in performance assuming we do are not overclocking but if that extra five or ten percent or another couple of hundred uh, hundred of hundred megahertz of frequency does make a difference for you then of course you should go with the overclockable version but majority of the common user who are not overclocking who don't want to go to special cooling and things like that they may find 4790 to be as good. So let's take a look at some of their basic uh, specification in terms of clock frequency, the basic clock frequency, not the overclockable one. 4790 manages to get higher clock frequency than 4770K even though it's cheaper. And that's why I'm saying if you are not overclocking, then better go with 4790 and save $50 or so same thing with the turbo clock the 4790 is 100 megahertz higher let's take a look at their past market score which is the average of the past market score uh, benchmark score reported by user so you will see that 4790 is rated slightly lower and the basic reason is many of the users who are uploading their score they have overclocked these processors but if you do not overclock run them at the same base clock and turbo clock frequencies then 4790 would potentially have higher clock uh, pass mark score than 4770k both of them come with the same integrated graphics which is good for a uh, smooth display but if you are in gaming you may want to have some discrete graphics then tdp ratings they have the same tdp rating let's take a look at some of their uh, pricing uh, things and other some of the other specification that may, we may have missed both of them come with the same smart cache 8 MB of Intel cache now look at the pricing the recommended customer pricing is $312 for i7-4790 and for 4770k it's 300 and $50 so if as I said earlier if you are not using the overclocking you may prefer to uh, use 4970 and uh, save some of the cash the graphics uh, maximum dynamic frequency is slightly different for these two processors but it should not make much of a difference thank you for taking a look at this